we are driving in the Tesla, we usually pick something up for the off-grid garage. And it's not different today. But today it's special because we've got something with us. So we have the trailer behind us and we are going to pick up another solar system I found online this morning. 12 panels, 250 watts for $300, including Crowbot inverter and all the rails. I couldn't say no. It's only 40, 50 kilometers away from home, so very close. So cleaned the trailer, hooked it up. It's my first drive with a trailer. I'll make another video here on the car channel as well with a trailer coming out there at some stage. Don't know when. I've got also the solar tester with me, of course, to test the solar panels. But um, it is a bit risky because as you can see, we have cloudy sky. So I won't expect we have actually sunshine when I arrive there in about 10, 15 minutes or so to test them completely fully in full sun. So yeah, it is a bit risky. And these are the Resol, Resol panels we have used before and they weren't really good. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea actually, but it's 12 panels. It would exactly fill up my whole garage with the same panels. Um, they are 60, 60 cell panels. So this is the older generation, you know. The new ones all have 72 cells or even 144 if you have half cell modules. But these ones have 60, so they fit exactly what I already have on the garage. And this is where I think I should get them. I can fill up completely the garage, not the carport, just the garage, and would have and would have over seven kilowatt peak. I couldn't say no. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get them all home and can test them tomorrow in full sunshine. Well, we won't have full sunshine because it's still a freaking amazing, cloudy and rainy and everything. There's no sun apart from these patches, but they are not really blue as well. Well, guys, anyway, welcome to the off-grid garage, the mobile edition today. I'm very excited to pick up this solar system again. Well, even the rail system is worth the money. And if I can sell the Crowbot inverter for another hundred dollars, I'm having actually, I'm getting actually money back. So I get the panels for free. Let's do it. The Joy WS400A, link down in the description. <laughs> Watts. Well, at least it's working. There's no sun. No sun. No. <laughs> well, as I said before, it is a bit risky because I can't really, I can't really test. I can't really test the panels. I've tested one; it's working. But let's do it. Come on, let's do it. For 300 bucks, let's do it. No, the sun is coming out. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Okay, so that's the whole loot. 12 panels, 250 watts, all the rails, and the 3 kilowatt crowbot inverter. Sun comes out after I loaded everything on the trailer. Every time I pick up solar, it rains. Okay, let's go home. Well, some of the cells are a bit colorized. 
they are a bit brownish or something I don't know the cells maybe may got hot or something I don't know usually this doesn't have any effect on the performance or power output or so from what I could see from other cells we have to wait until the Sun comes out and we can test them all it is what it is paid for it picked it up it's in the trailer all right guys we made it hopefully hopefully nothing has cracked I put some more cushioning under these straps here but they are pressing really hard here in this area so hopefully this all has worked out and there's no crack I've forgotten this one actually all right we will see we will see Everything is soaking wet. There's no way we can test these solar panels today. It is so cloudy. You've seen four amps outside. That is all. Well then, let's uh, take care of these ones. So we've got these two pairs of 3 meter 10 and they are perfect for our roof. This is exactly the length I need from the gutter to the top of the roof. And we've got these uh, 4 meter 50 long rails, so I need to cut them to 310 as well. And then the offcut needs to be stitched on this shorter one here. They are 220 or something, so they need to be extended to 3 meters. And then we've got all the rails to um, cover the whole garage with solar panels. I hope they work. This is my biggest concern, that I bought solar panels again, which are not working. And there was, there was no way to test them yesterday. It was the same weather. It just started raining here as well. Showers, thick clouds, not a single sun ray today, nothing. Twenty minutes ago there was no cloud at all, nothing, just blue sky. Would have been the perfect day to test these panels, but now I'm not sure anymore. Well, we should prepare. Good work. Ah, the display. The display. 184 watts, 26.6, 6.9 amps, 185 watts in the morning sun with a tiny bit of cloud. See, we are not, we are not super 100% clear. There is a cloud and there are some white, thin clouds. There is some blue sky, but um, this is still to come. Let's see. 160 it goes down 84 cloud is there 119 sun is coming back full sun now i would say we have got full sun 187 almost 200 watts i haven't cleaned any of the panels yet they are totally dirty there's moss on it in the corners 
186 watts 185 wait let's see 1240 watts per square meter that's all right let's see it's totally dirty there's moss on here and smear and bird droppings it's not 100 percent clean 194 195 i've seen so 100, 197 now okay let's clean the panel and see if this makes a difference Two oh five, but uh, yes, again, a little bit of cloud around. <laughs> yes, blue sky around this spot. <laughs> Still, we're getting twelve hundred thirty watts per square meter. Still fairly strong. Two oh seven, it should go up. So the clouds are slowly going away, and we should see an increase in power output now, hopefully. Okay, let's have a look at the specs while we are waiting. So 250 watts. See, these are the Rene Solar. We had bad experience with these ones before. So that's why I was a bit concerned if these cells actually perform after seven, eight years or so. 37.4 open circuit voltage, 30 volts in the maximum power point. Well, we can measure 27.4. Short circuit current 8.8 .8 and maximum power point current 8.3 amps. Yeah. So I would say this one has around 200 watts here. And these conditions. Okay, uh, I guess I'll keep going and let you know afterwards. Wish me luck. This is the last panel. <laughs> it takes probably a couple of minutes now until we get back into this area. But usually there are more clouds coming from all the other areas in front of the sun, especially here in this spot when you do solar testing. 10 watts. It's not that great. And we're getting only 60 watt per square meter. 60 watts. Look at this. Super thick cloud. Blue sky blue sky but here thick cloud look at this blue sky everywhere yeah my son delivers 64 watts oh perfect 190 92 this one is just short under 200 watts ah i think we've got some shading here Oh no, come on. Here it comes. 30. 212. There we go. The sun is just not really consistent this morning. Nice. 211. So guys, just want to quickly show you the result here. So everything above 200 watts, I just put 200 watts on the panel. It is all, yeah, we've got um, inconsistent sun this morning again. Some of them, some of them have actually peaked to 225, 230 watts I've seen, especially when we had these cloud corner situations. So 200 watts, they're all 200 watts. This one has only 185. I couldn't get more out of this one, but again, could be cloud related. I'm not too concerned. And here, second row, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, and 200. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I'm relieved. It looks like we have sourced another 3 kilowatt peak of solar here, including the rails, including a 5 kilowatt crowbar inverter. I haven't shown you. There we go. 
It's a Min 5000 TLX, 550 volt DC, yeah, and all the other specs here. And it also comes with a Wi-Fi module. Yeah, this was all included in the package for $300, including shipping. They are 165 at a meter. They are a bit smaller. Oh, perfect. Same size. They're not as wide as the other ones. Same form factor as the other ones we have on the garage already. They should fit perfectly on the garage and we can close these gaps there at the end of the garage and have it fully covered with solar then. That will be a 7.2 kilowatt peak then. Mm, that's a good start, right? Yeah, and as always I link these devices here down below in the video description if you are interested. Especially here the WS400A, the solar panel tester. This is actually a very, very nice device here for maintenance, fault finding, all kind of troubleshooting with your solar panels. It works pretty good. Yesterday was literally the worst day of all times. 4.2 kilowatt hours only from a 5.5 kilowatt peak system, 5.2 kilowatt peak system. Unbelievable. That's how much rain and clouds we had yesterday. And here today? Welcome back to sunny, hot Australia. Yeah, so I'm really pleased and relieved that these panels actually seem to perform quite well. Um, I told you in the car, some of them have really like a brown... You can see it here a bit. See, they have like a brown frame around them. Uh, I've got some of the modules on the roof as well with this situation. But um, they all seem to perform at maximum power. Certainly this is an aging process or something. But um, finally, not all of them have this. This one has it only very, very mild. This one a bit more. Yeah, this one almost doesn't have it at all. Yeah. And I've seen this one here before, these snail trails as well. It looks like a short here, but again, they deliver full power. And these are the old style modules. There are six by 10 cells. So 60 cell modules, they deliver only around 35, 40 volts. And this is exactly what we have on top of the garage already. So the garage will be fully covered with these older 60 cell modules. I had a look online on Alibaba and online here in the shops in Australia. All the new panels there are 144 cells so these are half cell modules then especially good for shading so it uh, would be actually good to have them here on the roof but um, they cost uh, 350 dollars around each per panel that's for 400 450 350 watt panel i mean i got 12 panels of them three kilowatt for the same price plus the rails, plus the inverter. And I like actually, and I like actually to recycle these cells here. Usually they get shredded and go into road construction or something. And if they perform another 10 or 15 years or something, that's really good then. Yeah, so next step will be to mount the rails on top of the garage. And then we can slowly think about mounting the solar panels as well and connect them all to our system here. Especially now in winter time with all the shading from the trees here around us. I'm in much need of solar power. I have doubled the solar fence as well. If, if you have a look in the Victron VRM system, you can actually see we are getting around 750, 800, 850, 900 watts sometimes out of these six panels here. But of course, this is just a temporary setup until we have all the panels here on the roof. And then we need to think about extending this roof here as well with solar panels especially this side here because once the sun comes around this tree there we've got full sun on this roof here and i want to harvest this energy as well and put this all in the battery here <laughs> we in summertime we will have so much energy <laughs> i'm sure we will fully charge the battery every single day then but we are not in summer all the time and we are not in sunny hot australia all the time sometimes we've got this um mixed weather or really shit weather like the last couple of days 
Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel, all your generous donations, all your emails, which I'm unable to respond to. So please leave all your comments and questions down below under the videos so everyone can see them and help me responding. Until the next video, guys, stay charged, stay safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye.